How's it going everybody? It's Ryan. I figured it's uh, about four years overdue for an update video, so here we are. Uh, over the last four and a half years, I was hired by a regional airline and worked for them. A lot of you guys knew that, although I never said who it was. The uh, company's name was Trans States Airlines. Um, so I was hired by this company in 2016, uh, January, and my base that was assigned to me was Raleigh-Durham. So I actually moved from the Kansas City area out to Raleigh. I lived there, oh, from probably April of 2016 until late July, early, uh, no, actually it was August of 2018. Uh, in 2018, in August, I actually became a captain. So I was assigned the domicile of Chicago and I also became the first officer representative for the Airline Pilots Association. Uh, that was a, a pretty lengthy commute to make from Raleigh to Chicago. Uh, a bit shorter commute was the Kansas City area. So I actually moved back to Kansas City and I was making the commute. It was about a 50 minute commute each way from uh, Kansas City to Chicago and then from Chicago back to Kansas City. Um, these flights happened about every 50 minutes so it made the most sense for me. Uh, that being said, I was a captain from August, September, somewhere around there of 2018, right up until uh, we got news of our company closure, which was April 1st of 2020, just a few months back. Um, during this time, about the February, March time, just before we closed, I applied for and was um, awarded a check airman slot. A line check airman essentially takes uh, a first officer out on their first few trips after they complete their training and just makes sure that they're uh, 100% safe and able to do their duties to the extent that they should be able to before they're signed off to fly with uh, everyday captains. Um, so I was most of the way through training whenever our company got word that we were closing. We got word of the closure in early March. Um, we were supposed to close in December, December 31st of this year, but due to the COVID situation that was accelerated to April. So we only had a couple weeks to prepare for um, being unemployed. Uh, that being said, I did kind of feel the uncertainness of my company's future back in about the January, February time, and I applied to two carriers who are my dream jobs to work for. Um, I interviewed with both of those. Once, one of them was in February and one was in March. Um, I've not heard yet back whether I have or have not been um, awarded, uh, or I guess offered employment. Um, I'm kind of in the last step of the hiring process with both of them. I'm not gonna say who it is until I actually get a confirmed class date and I'm in class and I've probably made it through that um, just because I don't want I don't want that word to get out just yet um, so I'm really hopeful that that happens uh, if not that's okay um, for the time being I'm kind of planning on I've, I've applied at a few locations and I might even go back to flight instructing I'm not entirely sure but I will make an update whenever the time comes for that uh, that being said I know a lot of people are really concerned about the future of the 121 world, especially in the regional um, world. Um, for me, I personally think it's going to recover sometime in 2021, probably in the probably early spring till summer. I assume things will start really picking back up with the, uh, the hiring. And I think that we'll be back at a, uh, I think we'll be back at, um, I guess early 2020 levels or late 2019 levels, not probably not until 2022 or 2023, but I do think it's gonna happen faster than a lot of people that are the doom and gloom type are saying. That being said, I think the future is gonna look a little bit different. I don't think the, the major airlines are gonna be set up the best for this. I think the low cost carriers are gonna come out ahead. That's just my prediction. We'll see if I'm right down the road. So right there, that brings me to what kind of plans do I have for the future of this channel? Um, obviously, I haven't made a whole lot of videos. There's various reasons for that. Uh, I made a couple videos and they got taken down by YouTube for no reason. Um, I literally reached out to them several times and requested to know why they took my videos down. Uh, there was nothing against the terms and conditions, nothing illegal, and they never got back to me. So it was a waste of my time. Um, I also had a few complaints from people. Uh, I did a couple a day in the life of uh, airline pilot style videos. And I would post, you know, here's where we stay in New York, for example, we stay at the Fairfield Inn. And that was all the information I gave. And a few people got really upset saying, oh, now everyone knows where you guys stay and they can come attack you or whatever. And, uh, um, you know, there's tens, twenties, hundreds of Fairfield Inns, Fairfield Inns in uh, New York City. 
So um, I don't know why they got all upset, but I decided to stop making the videos. Uh, it was just too much of a um, too much of a hassle to make them to have them get taken down for people to complain and report them for uh, for no reason whatsoever. So that's kind of what happened there. As for the future of the channel, I do plan on uploading more. Um, I'm hoping to do at least once per month. And if I can find enough content, I would like to do at least once every other week, if not more. Um, it's not going to be only aviation videos. I would like to do some product review videos. Uh, I've got a lot of different various things that I think a lot of people want to know. Is it worth the money before they spend the money on it? Um, not only that, but uh, maybe some fitness and nutrition videos. I'm very passionate about living healthy. Uh, it's a very important part of your life if you are an airline pilot. And some financial videos. Uh, recently, I've kind of, over the last few years, actually, I've kind of um, discovered this group called FIRE, which is the Financially Independent Retire Early. Uh, it's a movement that's going on. And it's essentially setting yourself up for success whenever you're young. So not necessarily do I want to retire early, but I want to have the option to. And I think following and taking some um, advice from people in this group has led me to a position to where I haven't worked since since for, since late March, whenever, whenever my last flight was, um, and I don't necessarily need to for a while. Uh, and so it's my choice. It's more freedom as opposed to actually retiring early. Do I want to retire early? Probably not. I love flying. I want to fly for until I'm 65 and then maybe even after that in a, in a non part 121 environment. But um, I want the opportunity and the ability to stop whenever I want to in case I want to pursue something else with my life. And so if something big, uh, another big event like this happens, I don't have to worry about not having work and having to scramble to find another th another uh, career path to take in my life whenever I, who knows, you know, maybe I'm 40 the next time this happens or 50. Um, so that being said, uh, I would like to make a couple videos on advice that I have for people who are maybe just starting out in aviation or even just people who want to kind of get ahead in life and set themselves up for the best possible future so you're not dependent on a paycheck. So um, I hope that answers a lot of questions. I hope, uh, this is a good update video and I hope everyone likes it. If you like any of those topics that I just described on what my channel is going to consist of down the road, please feel free to uh, go ahead and subscribe. And also, if you don't mind, go ahead and click the thumbs up, the like button for this video. That just helps with the, uh, the YouTube. It helps my video get pushed out to other people. So maybe they'll see this and want to see content that I'm going to be producing in the future. That being said, guys, I hope you liked the video. Um, I'm sorry it's been so long. I know um, I have a lot more time now, obviously. So I'll be making more videos. So thank you very much for watching this and giving me your time. I hope you have a great rest of your day.